Hi everybody, Kelly here and today I would like to share a mini album with you. Um, this mini album is completely and utterly inspired by Sally and she is Scrapbook Giggles. Hi Sally! Um, and she makes the most beautiful elaborate mini albums, they're just stunning. Um, so along with Ginger at my sister's scrapper I have to say that Sally is my other most favourite mini album maker. The reason this is inspired by Sally is this is my version of what she calls the Bulky Bliss mini album, which she makes with manila folders. Now this is slightly different because as you guys know, I'm here in the UK and here in the UK we don't have manila folders and the folders that I did find don't bend in the same way and with the same lines that the ones that Sally uses does. So I changed it up a bit but I used Sally's principle and then I added some flaps, some pages have got side flaps and some have got top flaps which um, Sally doesn't do but I did make them all, all the sort of folders that I did use into pocket pages so huge shout out to Sally for the inspiration and I'll put her link down there. So I used Crate Papers DIY Shop for this and this is the front cover and this I think is affectionately known as a Trisha flower. I followed a tutorial um, but made it a lot bigger for the size that I wanted from uh, Trisha who is a little shabby chic here on YouTube. Then I have some uh, I Am Roses flowers to sort of just match the colour scheme. This lovely trim here is from Lily um, and she is shabby-licious. I have some cheesecloth that I've dyed black in the background here. I've got this um, bling flourish which you can sort of see poking around and then this applique which I've cut in half is a trim from Safuna, so it's Safuna, something like that, they're an Etsy store, if you want to know their link let me know. Um, I found them quite randomly on Etsy when I was looking for something quite specific but I think that Craft Angel Online Shilpa actually designs for them. So that's the front and then this is what I've done to the spine. This is another trim from Sifuna. So, so I'm really sorry, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> Laugh away, people. Um, and I've just layered three rows of the trim on here, and I just thought that it's just so pretty and gives it such a nice texture. And then I've got that trim carrying on around, and I've actually T-dyed that trim. And then that is the back, and the trim carries around on the back, but the rest of that is quite plain. So what I'm going to do is I am going to move the camera up now so that we get a downward angle on the album so that I can show you the pages and I'll also get my children to stop shouting at each other so bear with me a second I'll be right back. Okay I'm back. Um, I have bribed the children with sweets to keep them quiet for a little while. So yeah, that was the front cover as you saw. And then what's really lovely about this album is that it actually, when you open it, lies flat. Now, as you probably know with mine and anyone else's you've seen, the paper bag mini albums, when you open them up like this, they kind of sit up here um, and this will lay flat. Um, what's really um, different about mine is that I've bulked it out quite a lot so it doesn't lay as flat as the ones that you'll see Sally do. But So... Um, the front co inside front cover, I've made this little um, little out pocket album here, this fold out, and I've done this before, so I didn't follow a um, can you see that? Didn't follow a tutorial or anything for that. I just sort of got a, a 12 by 12 piece of paper and cut the sides out and folded it up, and then so you've got space for photos or journaling or whatever. And I've done papers on both sides, and then that's got a magnet under there, so that just clips back together. This is an ephemera piece from the pack, and some trims and just some bling. Then here on this first page, I've made like a belly band and I've used two of the tags from the collection, which I've edged in, everything was edged in frayed burlap in this album. Oh, sorry, just hit the tripod. And they just slide quite nicely on in the, under the belly band there. And then this page flips out here. You see that? Yeah. And then I've left this one plain for a photo or journaling and I've made a little acetate pocket here and run some trim along the top. This is another piece from the ephemera pack and there's some little tag tickets there. So there's three of those. And then I have a um, photo mat which comes out the side which I've lined with the same paper from the inside of the flat and I've left the back plain for journaling or you know whatever you'd like to do. And I am actually thinking about selling this mini album, ladies. The problem is I have absolutely no idea what to charge. I have no idea how much people sell mini albums for. So if you're interested, if you'd like to maybe inbox me and sort of make me an offer or something, um, and I'll accept a reasonable offer. If not, then I think I'll put it on eBay and see how it goes. 
So on to the next page. Again, some more papers from the collection, really pretty. And I've used the tab stickers from the sticker sheet for the edge of all the big photo mats. So this one is plain. Then I've made a pocket with a doily here and I've got some of the small tags in here. So there's this four little tags there ranging in size. And then this one flipped up. So the last one flipped out and this one flipped up. And then I've made a photo mat here with the, because um, I used the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 for this. So there's, I've made a, <coughs> excuse me, photo mat with the 12 by 12 um, on the back, on the 6 by 6. And this one here, space for a photo, and I've put a sticker on there for journaling to sort of explain what the photo is. And then the mat for this one matches this page, and that is the front, and again, that's plain on the back. So that's the photo mat for that page. And what I actually did with this was I actually distressed the edges of everything with my Tim Holtz distresser. So everything is distressed around the edges, and that's sort of the look that I was going for was a bit sort of old, vintage, distressed. So on to the next page, I have again um, backed it and then I've made another photo mat here with the bigger size of the paper because I like the coordination of the two. Then I've made another belly band from um, a bit that I cut out of the paper line and lined that with some trim. And then I've made these two bigger tags here and just put some stickers on those from the paper line and they are plain, they're just distressed at the back for journaling. And they just slip quite nicely down in there. And then this one folds out. And I've left both of those quite plain for a photo or some journaling. I've just put a little sticker up there. Then on this page, I've actually made this into a double pocket page. So what I did was before I put the papers on, I just ran a couple of um, ran a couple of staples up the middle so that these have got separate pockets. And then these two little tags are music note tags because there's a piece of music note paper in here, so I thought it went really well. And I have put some stickers on the back of those to give them titles if you wanted to stick photos on the front so let's slide those back in there they're quite a snug fit in there but they do fit quite nicely and there's the one on this side sorry I'm doing this at a really awkward angle because I'm sort of sat around the tripod on the floor so apologies um, and then did I show you the inside yes I did show you the inside of that one then we turn over again to this page and on this page on this side I've made a little acetate pocket and I have stuck some uh, bling trim on there. Bear with me just a second. Sorry about that. My daughter was singing at the top of her voice, and uh, I just asked her to, if she would kindly refrain from singing, <laughs> singing for a few minutes until we finish this. So, as I was saying, I've made an acetate just corner pocket here, and then I've used two of the big tags from the paper line, which I've cut out, and then I've just put a little sticker on that one, and then that one I've just and I've edged those. Then on this side, I've used one of the stickers from the uh, paper collection. I've just backed it on some black card. This is a flower that I got at a local craft shop. There's a border sticker from the collection, some, a flourish, and there's half a doily there, and then this one flips up. And again, those two are plain. And the idea with this was that there was a huge amount of space for photos. And the photo map for this one matches this paper. It's just a larger version, and again, that one is plain on the back. So back in the pocket there. And then if we turn over again, we have these pages. And again, that's another one of the flowers that I got from my local craft store. So it's a slightly different colour. Quite a plain page there. You could fit a nice big photo on there. Then I've made a corner pocket again on this side. And there's a couple of tags from the collection there. I'll put a sticker on the back of that one. And there's some of the ephemera pack there. Then this one will flip out to the side. There's a big plain page here for a photo. And then I've used one of the ephemera pieces, and it's a photo frame. And what I've done for that is I've not stuck it down at the top, so you can slide the photo underneath there. So that's that one. And the photo mat for that one it is the wood grain, which matches the wood grain in there. And again, plain on the back. Um, so that's that one. Then moving over to here, and this is my favourite piece of paper, which is obviously what the front and back cover are. And I've just used this sticker from the sticker sheet just to give it something a bit interesting to look at. Then over here, I've used another one of the big flowers from my local craft shop. Um, there is a cameo that I got from my local craft shop, which I've backed on a filigree. 
which I got from eBay. There's this Flourish sticker here, which uh, I had in my stash. And again, there's another photo frame. And that one, let's get one of these tags from the last page, isn't stuck down on, I believe it's this side. So you can slide a photo under there. And then if I open that one up, this one will flip to the top. So another plain page or a photo mat or some journaling. And another little corner pocket with a couple of little tags in there. That's one from the collection and one that I made just to fit and match quite nicely in there. And the photo mat for this one is the large doily sheet of paper. And that's plain on the back again. So we'll put that back in there. Um, moving to the last page and to the back cover, I have this uh, photo frame which is in craft um, but it's in uh, medium weight cardstock and you can slide a photo under here as you can see where my fingers are and that will slide down in there. Then on the back cover I have made a waterfall with a bit of a difference and I followed a, a well I sort of followed a tutorial from Paper Crafter 45 for this. Um, however, again, I'm in the UK, so I didn't have the same size envelopes, and I had to adjust it all to fit what I needed. So this waterfall is made from envelopes, but the really cool thing about this waterfall, let me just flick through it quickly for you. But the really cool thing is that this waterfall also has photo mats. And they're plain again on the back for journaling or whatever, but each one of the, the falls, I suppose, it's a waterfall, has a photo mat that slides in and out of the side and I've tried to make them all coordinating with the paper and then even this bottom one here so there so yeah there we go and then we're back to the back cover that you saw earlier so I hope you like it guys I'm going to insert some still photos um, now this isn't a very good view sorry it's too high to see that but I had to spread it out um, again like I said I'd like to sell this one I think because I'm running out of space for mini albums um, if you're interested, maybe inbox me and make me an offer, or ladies that sell mini albums, if you could let me know maybe how much I'd sell it for, because I'm not sure. Hope everybody likes it. Uh, another couple of projects coming soon. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.